right, welcome back everybody. Aesop Grimm here, and this is the continuation of our chronicle, our Volcano Manor Chronicle for Elden Ring. Let me get my timer started. There we go. All right, I uh, checked a video on YouTube. Well, first of all, I put another, uh, I leveled up. Do, 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 do status. So we're now at 28 endurance. That puts my equipment load at a max capacity of 90.8. It's still not enough to put in any new equipment. But we are moving on up. And I watched a video on YouTube and uh, the direction I was going is the right way. So we're just gonna blitz through here. That uh, spiky vine chased me a long ways. Or I'll go through the magma fields. Am I still being chased? No. Uh, at the end of last episode, I was able to get the smithing stones, so I don't actually need to fight the bear. But I'm telling you that I want to fight the bear because I want to see if uh if i want to use great stars against the bear or if i should be swapping to a faster uchi katana it just kind of lets me check play styles oh goodness I guess all that fire they threw at me really did a number on me. <laughs> all right, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here and we're gonna bait him. Actually, better pop that. Here he comes. Ooh -hoo. I'll try and fight him down here. So we okay there, there in his way also. Oof. Can he not come all the way down here? Here he comes. Switch to two-handed also. And now there we go. Alright. Alright, I think that's maybe a, the third time I've faced a bear. And so I felt like on that one I really had a feel for his uh patterns. Clear these guys too. Glass shards. Got a guy with loot up there.
gravel stone. Oh, hello. Fine on potions, flasks, I guess is the term for this game. A pulley crossbow. That sounds cool. Crossbow made with pulleys and power springs. Complex mechanism which required advanced mathematical and mechanical understanding to craft. Was likely made by a certain genius who learned golden order fundamentalism. One touch fires a volley of bolts. Oh, wow. Be warned, large stores of bolts can be quickly spent. Skill, kick. Push an enemy back with a high kick. Effective against enemies who are guarding and can break a foe's stance. Sometimes a simple tool is the most effective. We should at least see what it looks like. It's one-handed. Well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, moving forward then. things. You stuck to where I don't even have to wait. Oh, nope, you are not. <laughs> All right. Chopper motorcycle looking thing. These guys... got out that time. I think 
got you that time. I thought there was a shiny that I was missing. A Sacramento bud for a piece of purple loot sitting there. Come on, man. Come on, man. You know the thing? Oh. Let's take that marker off. I don't want to be distracted. You're beautiful. <laughs> Prattling Pete. We do hit rather hard. Beautiful views. There's a mini boss up there. It's a queen. I forget the full name. Hey, Herodas Glintstone Crown. What's the difference between you and the other one? One of the Glintstone Crowns bestowed upon Rhea Lucaria scholars whose pursuits were deemed worthy. Greatly increases intelligence to the detriment of hit points and stamina. Scholar scholars of the Twin Sage Conspectus were the elites of the Academy permitted to study and excel in sorceries of all kinds. And then the one we just picked up. One of the glintstone crowns of stone upon, okay, same. Intelligence and endurance to the detriment of faith points. Ah, uh, that's the difference. Granted to scholars who engaged in nomadic studies away from the academy, which explains why we found it here. Nifty. Wake up, Sleeping Beauty. Ho 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 ho. That thing never had a chance. Yeah, that's the mini boss up ahead. Not sure if I can loot this without aggroing. Ah, oh, look, we can uh, call our friends. Might as well pop this. And we should be nigh unstoppable now. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, 
ain't got time for this nonsense. Oh man, nigh unstoppable, nigh unstoppable. See, see, you talk smack, you get wrecked. Alrighty, this is where I want to bring these guys up. I want to pop this. Memory stone, okay. Well, that took a few more tries just to get to this fight than I wanted it to, but uh, c'est la vie. And a win is a win, and we can press on. All right, so I believe we go down this rock. And it lets us jump over to another one, like down below. Ah, wait a minute. I thought that was crystal, like a crystal rock sticking out of the wall. Well, there's movement, but no words. Oh, Comet Azur. Thank you, sir. We're at 18,500 runes. And at the end of this, yeah, we should be able to just drop off the edge. And in the video I watched, the guy just ran through all of this stuff. He didn't stop for anything, not the boss fights or anything. He just ran right through. But I want to check these things out. Oh, hello. Well, we're, we're definitely going to do this.
pretty long ways down. Galmir Hero's Grave. The beast eye quivers. What kinds of horrible things are we going to face in this place? one of those things. How would I get through here? Can we get... Oh my goodness. I don't know how that's achievable. I gotta make it to that on the first go. Oh, darn, man. He followed me all the way down. I kind of had a feeling he would. 19,000 runes down the drain. 16 candles down the drain. All right, so right here we start to sprint. And we should make it to here. Oof. Okay. died. Okay. Human bone shard. Take that, sucker. Where's the next one at? Okay, not, doesn't seem like it's too far away. run over again yeah they seem to pretty reliably get run over all right I see the next one
that guy is not going to come down, I guess. So, I'm going to go get this stuff down here. Probably skeletons, something. Gen makes it inconsequential if I have a glancing shot and I get countered, you know, I, I get hit as a result once, you know, because that stuff just builds right back. love that the flame affects them too. Enemies get affected by stuff just like we do, and I really like that. reason to ride it to the top so we have it in the right position uh, this looks like a trap let's uh, let's go trip it garb and perfumer's bolt I wonder if there is such a thing as a perfumer build and what that would be about it seems certainly it would be roguish right something about uh, agility it also seems if there anything to go off of that you would be a melee ranged hybrid with maybe some poisons or something Oh. Where do I go? That tunnel right there. Oh no. I didn't even get the thing. Dang it, I hit the wrong button. And I didn't get my loot. loss oh my gosh that's a long ways to go <laughs> okay all right I'm not quite 
quite sure. I think I should be behind him and follow him down. He looks pretty close though. Ah, this is almost halfway between the two, isn't it? Oh, what? Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, I was worried about that. I was really... I was actually really worried about that. Should have gone to the right. I think that's where my runes were, too, was to the right. Blade. Mm. Okay. safe haven here? There's not. What the... How am I supposed to... I'm gonna die there. What am I supposed to... Maybe there's a way that I can ride that thing down. I'm gonna have to check this out online, guys. Let me put you on pause. Okay, well, this is actually kinda neat. So I was right whenever I died and I said, or maybe we're supposed to ride the chariot down. Yeah, that's exactly what's supposed to happen. And it's, it's nifty how that occurs. Let him come back. See, he's got no rider. Gelmir Knight Helm, Gelmir Knight Armor, Gelmir Knight Gauntlets, Gelmir Knight Greaves, and a Bloodhound Knight Helm, Bloodhound Knight Armor, Bloodhound Knight Gauntlets, Bloodhound Knight Greaves. Holy smokes, we got two sets of armor. We've been picking up um, a lot of loot here lately. Okay, let's... uh. Take a look at said items. We need to compare. Okay. It is the same weight, but better in more areas than it's worse. What about poise? Equal poise. This is less weight, and I don't like it as much anyway, but this looks pretty cool. Let's rock that for a little bit. I actually think I like the other one more. But this does have better stats. And it's different looking, so I want to go with that for a little bit. Alright. These are all the same weights, except this one's a little bit lighter, but it's also worse. This one... How much worse? 14.6 down to 4, 12.4 down to 10.9 on magic. 
It goes up on everything else. Okay, so switching from the Tree Sentinel would be a step down. And again, we're on Tree Sentinel here. And it would be a step down. It's very cool looking armor though and it, it really goes quite well with that shield helm worn by knights once loyal to praetor reichard its crest of red feathers symbolizes reichard's pedigree as lord radagon's son ah metal helm with a pointed beak worn by the bloodhound knights the bloodhound knights are trained as hunters and known to be unshakable trackers Without the use of language, each knight chooses his own master. Once the decision has been made, the knight stays loyal for life. Armor worn by knights once loyal to Praetor Reichard, it bears an emblem that none wear any longer, standing as it does for a lord that fell from lofty ambition into gluttonous depravity. Oh, wow. As the lord lost his dignity, so too did these knights lose their master. Metal armor with a jutting breastplate worn by the Bloodhound Knights. The Bloodhound Knights are trained as hunters and known to be unshakable trackers without the use of okay, cave. So we've read that. All right, well, that's pretty neat. We will now, let me double check, make sure I didn't miss anything over here because I didn't really check my corners. I did as I entered the room, but only enough to see if anything was coming at me. I didn't check all the way over to see if there was loot. I'll probably switch back to the tree, the, uh, the laid down stuff fairly quickly, to be honest. I just haven't ever worn this before. And it seems nice. Okay. So. Ah. Uh, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh! That's about to be. Man, this little jump actually makes me nervous. Because I, I can't see very well. Dead guy, man. <sighs> oh, of course. Finally made it. All right, we're supposed to be able to just drop down onto it from here. Oh, <laughs> I'm stupid. No. Ooh. Very close. We are supposed to drop right there, and I just about got myself wrecked. Beast blood, all right. Class 7 gl uh, Grave Glove Wart. We're getting some pretty nice stuff in here. It's actually making me wonder whether or not Volcano Manor should come after Altus Plateau. Any gotcha things going on here? No. Statue of America, that's good. I forget what Blessing Spoon does. Okay, let's just go. Red Wolf of the Champion. I remember you. Are you the same? Well, that didn't do anything. 
Come on, Cletus. Bloodhound Knight Flow. Flaw? Flow? My marionettes made that battle simple instead of annoying. He wants to dance around and they just light him up. <laughs> What have we won? Well, first, let's get the root resin. Ah, the death root. Excellent. And I suppose we'll head back to the beginning. And the timer went off a while ago, so we're going to call it an episode. But we are on the route to the Volcano Manor. Let me see how close we are. We're at 28.8. So probably between episodes, I'm going to go do a loot run. A loot run. A um, rune run at the Field of Giants and level up again. And, uh, and then that'll be that. Again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thank you for coming by the channel. I hope you like what you saw. I hope all is well in your neck of the woods. And I will see you in the next episode where this story continues.